Okay, about 10, 15 years ago, I taught some eighth graders. It's coming up on Thanksgiving holiday, and we just finished doing Newtonian mechanics and basic physics, and we're about to start on thermodynamics. So I say, ah, I know what to do. Here's your homework. Over Thanksgiving, make a graph of the temperature of a turkey on Thanksgiving day. You know, from morning to afternoon, you know, put the units down, you know, temperature, make sure you've got units. Well, okay, the students are in America, Thanksgiving is an American holiday, turkeys are North American birds, all the same, it would be nice if you use Celsius, but if you have to, okay. Meanwhile, there's students in my class and I'm telling them, okay, I know, some of you are vegetarians and you don't even have turkeys. Some of you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Some of you are gonna be traveling. Some of you, you know, I don't even have any thermometers to give you. Doing science means you're gonna figure this out and do the experiment. You're gonna find your own equipment. If you don't have a turkey around, measure the temperature of lasagna or measure the temperature of uh, chow mein. Just give me a graph across time and temperature. Really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say, oh, we're gonna study a little bit about thermodynamics coming up. We finished Newtonian mechanics upcoming is, how does heat flow? You know, it's, and this leads into some truly wonderful partial differential equations and gradients and, and for a heat flow. But of course, I'm not gonna go there, I just want them to realize that heat moves from cold, you know, there's a heat flow that never goes from cold to hot, it always goes from hot to cold. Oh, that's motivating me. And my usual thing with homework is, if you hand it in, you get an A. If you don't hand it in, you get an F. Hand this out, give me your name, oven temperature, and temperature, make sure you give me units. Come Monday after Thanksgiving, comes 30 different things, 30 different reports. I get them, let's start looking at them. Immediately it's obvious who copied from who. It's right away obvious who just, you know, copied somebody else's. Some of the graphs you're seeing look like this. There, people have scribbled things that, where they put one dot over here at 70 degrees F, one dot over here at the oven temperature of, of, whatever they whatever their mom sent it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit drew a straight line between there and this was like 9 a.m. this is 3 p.m. you know they just said oh straight line like this others you saw a graph that went like oh here's a dot here dot here oh went up down and you could and you know even though the even though the oven temperature was set to 350 it never got much above, oh, 160 or so degrees Fahrenheit. Other students did it in Celsius. One, <laughs> one kid wrote everything, used Kelvin. In the ideal world, there'd be a phase change from a frozen turkey across and then through boiling and up higher, but you know, in fact, we're only gonna stay in this region here. And really the slope of this line tells us about the Fourier heat equation that says the gradient of temperature determines how fast heat flows across it. It's parents' night. Then parents come in, in the evening and want to know, how's, how's my kid doing in class? And I describe the experiments that we're doing and what their kids are doing in school. And it's, it's way fun. And, Afterwards, three parents, two moms and a dad, come up to me separately, and they say, that thing with the, t with the Thanksgiving experiment was wonderful for my kid because it's the first time that my kid came into the kitchen on Thanksgiving over and over and over again. Every half hour, my, my son would open the oven door, put a thermometer in the turkey, measure the temperature, write it down, add a dot to the graph and keep going like this. It's the first time my kids spent, spent time in the kitchen on Thanksgiving and the parents were delighted. And I thought, yeah, you know, it's so. But the coolest thing, the coolest, the warmest thing of all 
was one <laughs> one of my students took took this seriously and graphed the temperature of a of the turkey on Thanksgiving and ended up with a graph rather than going up across the day, rather than you know going along there. This this student made a handed in a graph where from morning to evening the temperature remained exactly the same. If I remember right, she wrote down 104 degrees and I looked at it and I asked, why is the temperature the same? She says, it's a live turkey. Where did she stick the thermometer? <laughs> I have no idea. You know, she completely slam dunked me. Absolute, you know, there's, there's somebody who gets an A plus on it. If you enjoyed this video, you're the sort of person who likes to think a bit outside the box, then I think you're really going to like Brilliant. This is a website of puzzles and courses and all sorts of problems that help change the way you think. They kind of, I guess they kind of make you a smarter person. Let's have a look at what's on the site at the moment. Here are some daily challenges. I really enjoy these. They're good fun. Kind of like a, you know, a puzzle of the day, I guess. Stuck in a tight spot. What's the square side? Let's have a look at courses today. Click up here. So many courses available on Brilliant. I mean, I could pick any of these, but let's have a look at mathematical fundamentals. Cryptograms. What digit in place of B would make this sum true? I reckon that's going to be a, what do you reckon, a five? That was a pretty easy one. What about this one? What are you going to put there for Z to make that true? Look, I'm not going to do all of it. This is just a tiny, tiny taste. There's so much to see on Brilliant. Go and have a look at the site now. You can have a look at it for free. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. But if you want to sign up for the premium version and get access to everything, you get 20% off that if you go to brilliant.org slash number file. That's brilliant.org slash number file for that 20% off. Seriously, you should have a look at this. It's an amazing resource. And our thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode.